All right, so today's video, I want to actually talk about one of my goals uh, for the 2022 uh, year, and that's actually going to be uh, how many books that I'm going to read. And uh, this year, I'm actually taking a slightly different approach. So the past couple of years, it's been, my reading goal has been more based on volume. And while I do read or listen to, I should say, a lot of nonfiction books, so it's usually going to be business, finance, real estate, and leadership related. Um, you know, there's a lot of crossover ideas between all of the books that I read, but um, I'm not going to retain everything by reading a book once. So instead of reading, you know, 52 books this year, what I am thinking is actually to reduce that. Let's read 12 books and reread those books if I finish it within a month. But the whole purpose here is to not just power through and finish it in a couple of days, but more so uh, make sure that I am basically dissecting those books and trying to truly understand uh, everything that it's trying to teach me and then not only understand it, but then to implement it and to even teach it myself. Because if I could do that, if I can practice it, if I can teach it, um, and if I read it, listen to it, take notes on it, uh, I'm basically consuming it in all different facets of learning. And then I'll get way more out of it. It's almost like the, uh, well, really, I, I'm thinking of two quotes here, uh, but the Bruce Lee quote where he says, I don't fear a man who has practiced a thousand kicks once. I fear a man who has practiced one kick a thousand times. And basically what he's saying there is that, you know, you're mastering a movement or you're mastering something by practicing it a thousand times. Whereas if you only do it once, you'll you know, sure, you'll gain a little bit of knowledge, but you'll uh, still be an amateur for it. Uh, the other quote that it reminds me of, uh, as far as rereading the same books, is, I, I forgot who actually said it, but um, basically it's going to say, like, no man walks through the same river twice. And the reason for that is because the person changes, uh, you know, their life circumstances change, and then the river changes as well and changes its uh, surrounding environment. So when you're reading a book, you, when you read it the first time, were at a different stage in life. It could have been years ago, could have been months ago, but other things were going on in your life that are not happening right now. You may be in a different uh, relationship. You may be in different financial situations. You may be under different stresses at work or not. So um, there are certain things that will speak to you this time that probably didn't speak to you last time. So that's why I like the idea of going back, rereading those books, trying to develop more mastery and implement more of those ideas instead of just rushing through and kind of getting a general understanding. I want a deep understanding. The other uh, saying is instead of going an inch deep and a mile wide, uh, why don't you go basically a, a mile deep? Um, because then you truly have uncovered everything and you understand it way, way more. So that's my thought. Um, I'll still continue listening to podcasts and still read, but, uh, you know, if I'm reading extra, that's more so just because it's, uh, I have extra time and instead of watching, you know, another series on Netflix or anything like that. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm still improving my mind and they would still be like related subjects, but I want to narrow down and focus on 12 books to read in 2022.